guys, it's Lola Vid, and today marks the beginning of my pregnancy series. So let's get started on what the series will be about, as well as what this video title entails. Question number one: What am I doing with things that I don't use anymore because I can't fit them anymore? During my first trimester, I actually started donating a lot of the clothes um, to Goodwill and Salvation Army around here in Boston. But later on, I realized that the baby is going to cost like a lot of money. So I decided to kind of make some money back by selling my stuff dirt cheap on Poshmark. So um, things that I don't fit, don't wear, as well as something that are no longer my style, I just... You know, I post on Poshmark and I sell it, and it does sell really quick. If you want to just download the app for free, Poshmark has everything. I mean, fashion, makeup, shoes. Oh, by the way, they have some really cute um, Adidas, Nike, as well as Louis Vuitton available on their site. Like, there's such a massive quantity of these three brands. Also, the reason why I really like um, Poshmark is a lot of time when I go on the store website, they no longer have that style available, but on Poshmark, it is available because someone has been given this and they just don't like it, it's not their style, so they list it up for a fraction of the price. On top of that, even when they list it for a certain amount, you can always add an offer of what you're willing to pay, and the other Poshmark shirt <laughs> would also work with you on that. If you have something you don't want, go ahead, make an account. So yeah, that's what I've been doing with all my stuff. I will link my uh, information here on the video as well as down below. Question number two. How much weight have I gained? Um, let's see. Prior to getting pregnant, I was 117 during my wedding. I got pregnant within like the next three weeks. So my weight was still the same. Right now, I'm at 35 week and one day. I weigh in at 165, so you do the math yourself. Question number three. What is my favorite product now that I'm pregnant? Now that I'm pregnant, my favorite product has got to be body butter. And there's a particular brand that I like. I'm going to go ahead and show you a clip bit of it as well as the texture and talk more about it. I actually got this product at Marshall for $6, which is honestly really affordable. But they do have a website available if you can't find it at Marshall or TJ Maxx. Question number four. What am I doing with my stretch mark problem? Here's the thing about stretch mark. Um, my mom has five girls and she has no stretch mark whatsoever. So I firmly believe that stretch mark is genetic. Um, you either it's either some it's either you know you or someone who can easily get it or you're someone who cannot. A few tips that my mom did give me um, is do not scratch even if it gets itchy. Um, use a lot of body butter, which is what I've been using. And as long as you don't put on this massive weight in such a short amount of time, you're fine. So for me, I think I gradually expand my body, so I should be fine. But I won't know if I have stretch mark till after the baby is delivered. So I'll keep you updated on it. Um, so if this product that I'm using is going to work, perhaps it's going to help you in the long run so you can use the same thing and hopefully it'll work for you too. But me, I really think it has to do with um, genetic because my husband um, mother is the same way. She has no stretch mark. She's a really beautiful and petite woman even after having six kids so I don't know I can't I'm not I'm not educated enough in this area for me to answer this question for you but I will do my research and follow up on it question number five what am I going to name the baby the name that I'm going to give the baby I can't reveal only because it will give away the gender reveal and so yeah, I don't know if I can actually answer this yet, but yes, there'll be a baby reveal as well as a gender reveal coming up with them this week, so you have to look forward and turn on that bell for the notification for all my new video. Question number six. Am I doing a gender reveal? Yes, I will be doing a gender reveal on YouTube and it will be happening sometime this week to be very honest. This whole week I'm going to be uploading every other day so this marked the first video. So skip a day on Tuesday will be the next upload and then skip Wednesday, Thursday will be the next upload, skip Friday, Saturday will be the next upload and hopefully we can get done with this series. So yeah, um, this is pretty much just the first of the baby series. The 
reason why is this will not be my only child. I will be having another one right after this one right away. So then, you know, you'll be able to see me slowly get my body back just to slowly lose it all over again. But the positive side is you'll get to see me dress how to dress myself the first trimester, second trimester, as well as the third trimester, which you have already seen now. I actually post a few fashion video up that, um, you know, what I've been wearing anyways um, during my third trimester. And this way you don't have to look like a slob. You can still be put together. You can still be a working mom like I am. Question number seven. Have I started baby shopping yet and will the baby have his or her own room? So for baby shopping, yes, we started baby shopping. We started buying a few things already. Me, of course, I started hoarding on a lot of baby clothes, of course, you know, I just, I like clothing shopping. Um, yes, I started my uh, gift registry for a baby shower already. Um, so we'll see what's going on. So I'm going to let pretty much since we're having a baby shower, I'll let the guests buy whatever it is first and then I'll make the final purchase. So there's plenty of time for the baby or us to kind of deliver that to me. So I get everything on the same day. Question number eight. Am I quitting YouTube because of the baby? Um, I'm not quitting YouTube, but I will have a good month off from YouTube. Um, mainly because Post-pregnancy, I'm going to need to be on bed rest for a good month and during this time I'll post, you know, older videos that I pre-recorded for you guys to enjoy just so you guys don't completely forget all about me. So you have plenty of videos to watch every Tuesday and Thursday. I'll make sure that it goes live automatically. So I'll pre-arrange it on schedule so don't forget to turn on the notification bell just so you'll know when a new video come up. So yeah. Question number nine. Can I show you exercises so that you can tone your body and get your body back? Post-pregnancy, I will be doing a massive diet and exercise video because I do want to see if I can get my body to go back to the way it was and how fast I can do it. Question number 10. Can I make more baby sewing as well as DIY video? Um, after the baby is delivered, um, I definitely will make this channel more uh, Martha Stewart, home decor, DIY, sewing. Um, of course, I'll do fashion also, but I'll do a lot more hands-on and DIY as well as baby DIY because I know that you guys, my internet sisters, are all getting married and pregnant. I, I feel like we all are growing old with one another and it's honestly been a really amazing journey to just grow up together on camera. So I know that you guys are all going through the same struggle. <laughs> Ask me, not only am I going to be doing a lot of baby DIY as well as home decor and room decor for the baby, I'm also going to be doing a lot of maternity wear DIY just because I know how hard it is to go shopping for for a pregnant woman and I find that maternity clothes are so overpriced and quite hideous. So if I get good at it, maybe I'll start launching a maternity line. This way a lot of you can, um, you know, rock, still be a blogger, fashionable mama and still be a great mom doing it. I mean, why should we have to look so hideous just because we're pregnant? Pregnancy is a beautiful thing. Why not celebrate it? And talking about it, um, I have seen a lot of gently used or like beautiful pregnancy dresses on Poshmark. I bought a few myself and so I definitely would recommend that website to anybody. Uh, once again, I will link my Poshmark account as well as the Poshmark video, the past videos I'll talk about them in, as well as the link down below. Go ahead and download the app and I will see you next time. Don't forget to comment down below. Leave Ask me question for the next Q&A because the next video will be a Q&A video and hopefully I can get more than enough question to start reading your question on my next Q&A. So I'm hoping for 10 to 20 questions. Let's get the debate going and I'll see you next time. Bye!